guys, it's Housewife in Heels. So I'm going to be discussing this very wide recommendation that people have been giving for Louboutins, which is to go up a half size for the sake of comfort. I'm going to be discussing why I wholly disagree with that sentiment and why I think it would be more suited to go for a shoe that is initially too tight but fits. So I'm going to go ahead and get into that. Now I do have experiences in both shoes that are too big and shoes that properly fit. I have taken the time to get a shoe that is properly fitted to be broken in enough to be comfortable and not deal with pins and needles, be able to find them wearable, actually get to enjoy the shoes. This took a lot of trial and error, but I'm hoping that with my experiences I can save people from having to go through a lot of shoe heartache <laughs> from discovering that some of their favorite most beautiful shoes were just not wearable for them. So these are an example. These are arguably the prettiest shoes in my collection, or at least some with the most wow factor. I love the Psychic Red Luby. I am praying that I can get a pair of these in my size, which is a 35 and a half, these are 36. I've had these for over a year and I simply cannot wear them. So when I first bought these, I thought they did fit because I'm one of those freaks of nature with super narrow feet and I have to go down a half size in pumps for Louboutins to fit me. Otherwise, I deal with bad news bears. So there's a few things that I want to talk about here if you're going up for the sake of going up. One is that your foot is not going to be secure in the shoe. This is going to create something called heel slippage. So your heel should be very snug to the shoe. It should not be going anywhere. Even if you've been wearing them for a little bit and you're getting sweaty, things are feeling a little bit looser. That's the key word, not loose, looser. <laughs> It should be nice and fairly gripping to the actual back of the shoe. If your shoe is too big, what's going to happen is that it is not going to have that firm grasp. And as soon as a little bit of sweat happens, your foot is going to go further into the toe box. It's going to create more of a gap between your heel and the back of the shoe. And then your heel whoo, is going to come flying out. And more often than not, that's going to happen during the worst time. <laughs> I have been out and about walking in socates, especially that are too big. And then whoo, foot comes out. That creates a safety hazard. That's something that people don't really discuss, especially with socates. This isn't a socate centric video. It's, just what I happen to have on hand <laughs> that I have that both fit and are too big. So with that risk, there is also a matter of when you are going up or down in Louboutin, the actual millimeters of the heel is either going to go up or down. So for instance, the Socate, it is marketed as a 120 millimeter shoe, but the only size that is a true 120 millimeters is the 36 right here. This is a solid 120. Now, if you go up, the heel height is going to get higher to sort of accommodate the length of someone's foot in a higher size. Think about it, if you're a size 42 on the upper end of what Louboutin offers, a five of, excuse me, a four and three quarter inch heel is not going to look very high on you. It is going to be higher. If I had to wager a guess, probably a five inches or more. I mean, I would have to do a little bit more shoe <laughs> investigation on that to give an accurate measurement for that. but it's going to be higher. 
Now, especially when you're dealing with something that is known to be treacherous and very uneasy to walk in, why would you go and purchase a shoe that you're going to make even more difficult to walk in by making it higher than what your foot actually needs to get the silhouette you're looking for? I hope this is making sense. So I wish it would appear on camera, but the 35 and a half, which is what I have here, which is what does fit, is slightly, slightly shorter than the 36. Now I can walk in a 36, but not if my foot's about to come flying out. And most people cannot walk in a 120. So if you really want that 120 look, that really high killer stiletto look, you don't need to go up for that. Just get your actual size, make sure the shoe actually fits. I have a whole video, especially on Socate sizing, but I feel that that video is true for any shoe for Louboutin with how it should look if it properly does fit you. So when you're getting something that's ill-fitted, you're creating a perfect storm of hazard and destruction waiting to happen. So you have something that is too high for your foot to realistically be able to handle. Now you have something that your foot is wanting to fall out of. That's dangerous. You're going to, you're just setting yourself up to just eat sidewalk is what you're doing if you are getting something that is too big. Now, oh, let's say somehow by a miracle that you do get something that is too big, you've had good experiences, you're able to actually begin breaking it in. Well, most shoes offered at Louboutin, unless they're in the plexi or something like that, are leather and they will stretch. So something that is already too big is only going to get bigger. So now, you have a shoe you're already kind of fixing to flop out of, or you're just accustomed to the heel slippage. You put in a little heel grip something. And over time, it's just going to get looser and looser and looser, and it's going to become completely unwearable because it will get too big. So overall, that's just no fun. That You're not going to get longevity out of your shoes. Eventually, you're going to have to consign and then go back to square one. So why not just go and get something that properly fits, wear them around the house or on super short excursions enough to get them to mold to your foot. So that way they're comfortable to you rather than just something that's initially comfortable out of the box and then boom, your feet are flopping out of them. But I will go ahead and show you the difference with how they look on the but since I have examples right here. But other than that, I wanted to say thank you so much for watching. And if you heed my recommendations, I really hope you get a good experience out of it or a better one than you otherwise would have had. If you have not already checked it out, please check out my Patreon. It is only $3 a month. I really appreciate the support for the channel because it is not cheap to run. But other than that, I will get into... I don't know, the trial, whatever you might want to call it, but I guess I'll be comparing one that actually fits and one that's too big. Both of them have not been worn out yet, so you're going to see what they would look brand new on the foot. So I really hope that this helps you out, and let's get into how they look on the feet. Here I am in the too large shoe and the properly fitted shoes. So red is gonna be too big, pink is gonna be just right. So first thing off the bat, you should not be able to pop your foot out of a shoe that fits like this, unless you've been wearing it for say, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, your feet are getting sweaty. It should be secure like the pink. I was trying to pop my heel out of there. I could not do it. Now you're gonna be seeing them side to side like I talked about earlier. The half size up is going to be slightly taller than the pink. People do not talk about this, I'm not sure why. It is kind of a big deal because it doesn't sound like a whole lot when you're measuring in millimeters, but five millimeters for some people can make or break the 
wear the wearability of the shoe. So definitely take that into consideration before you go up a half size, supposedly for comfort. Now you're gonna be seeing in a moment what happens if you go up half size, you try to enjoy the shoe, and then you're walking around and boop, there you go, the shoe is gone. You do not want that. Now here is what you do want. The shoe properly fits, it's snug around the foot. I cannot loosen my foot out of the shoe. I am ready to go. I can walk around freely with full body of motion. Now here I am and there we go. That was not intentional. You do not want to feel loosey-goosey when in your shoes. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you and I will see you in the next video.